Let's start with this. What was your reaction to Valdez Scantling's drop touchdown pass? Well, to start with, Skip, you know, the first thing I, I thought about was you last night in the first half, sitting I, there nice yeah. and chill, <laughs> yeah. relaxing, <laughs> feeling good about yourself. And in the second half, all the shifting on the couch, the moving around, yeah. the standing up, the sitting back down, the mean mugging the dogs, looking at the wife I like side eyed The I whole was, deal. Yeah, now, I, to the yeah. catch, you know, it, it's, it's, it's very obvious he should have made the catch. There's no question about it. I felt bad for him so did I. at the end there when it just kind of fell off his hands. And I was like, oh, man, this dude, that, 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 that's it. They're not going to win the game. Once that happens, you usually don't come back and you win those games that late in the moment. The problem that I'll have also with him is being able to track the football. If you notice, he didn't give with the ball. He, 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 you can't catch a football like this. You need to extend the arms, track it, follow it, and give with it. And that's why it got on the right side of him, and it hit basically in his elbows because he's not stretched out. He's folding his elbows. So I'm like, okay, they'll correct that in, in, in film study. They'll correct it. But until then, he's going to feel bad. But that's not the most egregious thing to me. You still have Watson at the end of the game. He's got to catch that. You got to catch that. Fourth and 25. It doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, I know. He was wide open and went through his hands. Rocket. Don't tell me anything about rain. Don't tell me anything about the lights. No. Does it matter? MVS had lights in for sure in his eyes. It's a tough catch at night in the lights. You got to track it. But Watson's was not in the lights. That was straight ahead knowing that, hey, you catch that ball. On top of that, come back to the ball. Retrace and come back to the ball. Don't stand there and allow the defensive back to get on your hip. You got to put your foot in the ground and come back toward the quarterback. He didn't do that. So, you know, there's a lot that went on with this football game, but that particular catch when MVS obviously is well known and, and it, he'll live that for the, okay, through this, the rest agree, of his life. Though, running full speed, and he is your size, 6'4", he's 210, I don't know what you played at, to... Fat, let's just put it that oh, way. <laughs> but, but I'm when you played, yeah. you were 210-ish, 215, yes. okay. So you guys are the same size. He, he, he ran 4'3'7", coming yes. out, so he's like you. He's yeah, he's not, fast. He's not Blazing. you, but he's in your ballpark. Yeah, he can right? run. Okay, so this is what he does for a living. Yes. But once you get going full speed at six feet, four inches tall, it's harder to come under control for a ball that's <clears throat> on your fingertips. But that's why I, I, I say to that. you, yeah. that's why I say, and Richard yeah. knows this hasn't played the receiver position, yeah. you have to now, Skip, give way to the ball. Yeah. If you notice, he did not do that. If you look at his elbows, look at him. He's not, they're like this. Just extend and yeah. give it and give it. Don't let, just give. It got too far. He let the ball get up on him too far to his right side. If he's leaning to the right it doesn't get up on him. If, and the, he, if the ball's, a, a, like Patrick said after the game, I probably should have thrown it a foot shorter. He should have caught it anyway. May, but, maybe. But, okay. You got to track it. Yeah, you got to track, gotta it, track, but, track but it. But if it's a foot shorter, does he catch it? If it hits him more right in the... I don't, I, I don't know. I, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know, know, know about that one, Richard. You know. Just track the ball and give with it. All right, go, Richard. I mean, this, the, this, is, this guy, this kid, give with this it. player... Um, He's got six drops on passes, 20 yards or more. He does. So that's the most in NFL. So when you throw it up, you know that there's a decent probability, even though he's an NFL player, even though he's caught big passes from yeah. all-time quarterbacks, he caught, from, uh, he caught from Aaron Rodgers, he's caught passes from Patrick Mahomes, there's a chance he's going to drop it. <laughs> and, and if it's not a dime and if it's not a – not a pass where it's a foot shorter and it's yep. an easy layup pass, there's a chance he's going to drop it. So that's the problem that everybody had with the Chiefs coming into this season. You had no truly reliable weapons no. outside of Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey is your security blanket. He's everything you need him to be. But if he's not having a great game, where do you go? Do you go to Sky Moore? Do you go to McCole Hardman? <laughs> do you go to Valdez Scantling? Do you go to Rasheed Rice? None of them are as reliable as the receivers that you've had in the past. Even Juju, Juju smith Suture, last year, at least he's a pro. At least you know he's going to bring the pass in. He's not the fastest, he's not the biggest, not the strongest, but he'll catch the football. So 
I mean, I don't. I, I think this is going to have, be a hard season because outside of Patrick Mahomes, what do you have on this offense? I mean, Pacheco can can get going at times, he can. but you never feel great. And even Patrick going into the fourth quarter had, I think he had 89 passing yards going into the fourth. And of course, he got he got his passing yards going. He made a couple passes. I think he got 70 yards, 80 yards, and ended up with uh, 177. But he never really looked comfortable versus this Philly defense that has given up yards at times. And sure, they tighten things down, but he just doesn't have the weapons. And I said this before the game. That's why I thought Philly would win is because they just have the better team. Now, I guess Kansas City's defense, five sacks in the first half, really kept them in it. That's the only reason this game was was as close as it was. Mm. All right, my turn. The Chiefs dominated the first half. The Chiefs clearly were the better team in the first half. As Richard just pointed out, five sacks of Jalen Hurts in the first half alone. And speaking of Pacheco, they rushed for 121 yards, did the home team, in the first half. 121 yards. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start from the start. Philly did even the score at seven when Swift took it home. And let's look at this play quickly because Zacchaeus clearly grab holes. Just hey, grab holes. Okay, but you right, got to throw it. You got to throw the Oh, flag. you don't see it. How are you going to okay. throw something you don't see? Well, the ref uh, aren't clearly you paid didn't see it. To see? Yeah, aren't but you're looking at a million see? different things, Skip. Okay, well, I know there are a million different things, but there <clears> seem like there are a million refs on the field. Well, yeah, but the, the, each eight? ref is responsible Somebody's for certain throw areas. Somebody's got to yellow on that. Yeah, but certain refs is responsible for certain areas okay, of the field. Okay, it is glaring, and if you call it correctly, it's minus 10, and I don't know if they can get it in the end zone. Maybe they could have got it in, but it's more likely they would have wound up with three points. I love home. you, man. Okay, well, I'm just telling you, this is how it starts off. And then the rest of the half is dominated by Kansas City, except for one big Patrick Mahomes blunder in the red zone, and he throws it. It looked like Bayard was his intended target on the play. But Richard mentioned a whole bunch of Kansas City receivers, and he didn't mention the guy who got 11 targets. And I thought I'm not criticizing you, Richard. I'm just saying I'd be the same way. Justin Watson got 11 targets last night? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Justin Watson, yeah. whom Tom Brady said no to after they used to, when Brady first got there in 2020, they tried to go to Justin Watson, and twice he went to him, and he got picked sixth. Not all Justin's fault, but Tom just said, no, not my cup of Gatorade. And from that point on, he was mostly doghoused, and he wasn't even active in the Super Bowl. Okay, so the, the point is, if we see the interception again, <clears throat> Patrick threw. It's just careless to me because he's got Justin Watson breaking to the far corner. And you, you just got to get the ball up over Bayard because I, I think it's going to be a touchdown. You just – that, that pass is five yards underthrown. Just careless. I, I don't know. Just a bad – he, he made a bad throw. Bad idea, bad throw. And it cost them seven points. And if you want to boil this game down – you, you see that Philly goes in the red zone three times and cashed all three times with touchdowns. And Kansas City went in the red zone four times and twice their two best players turned the ball over. Once Mahomes and once Kelsey in the second half when he allowed the but, ball to be poked out of his hands. But okay? both, both of those plays were dominant plays, in my opinion, by Philadelphia. You got Bayard who kind of fooled. Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes thought he was going to take the first crosser, not the second guy on the deep cross. He thought he had an easy money. And then the punch out, that's just a great defensive play. Yeah, you was. punch that out with that force coming down on that football. And Richard knows this because I'm sure he's done it many times in his career. You in the, in the rain on top of that. So that's going to be hard if you – that's a punch out. That's a simple bam. And, and so now all of a sudden you got a wet football, you got a, somebody trying to hold on to it, and a force coming with a punch, you're going to fumble. Okay, right. but the point is, go I mean, ahead, Richard, you want to comment? Th this, this goes back to, to the point we made weeks ago about the trade deadline. When did they get Kevin Byer? They got him at the trade deadline, Skip. They got him because his team didn't want him. They needed to improve at the safety position, and yeah. they got a guy who has helped them in big games. They got Bradley Roby, who punched the ball out off the streets. Nobody wanted him. They picked him up. In October, he's been a godsend for them, made big plays, made a huge play right there. 
Skip, I hear what you're saying. A lot of coulda, wouldas, what ifs, if, if, ands, what, what, what should have happened, could have happened, would have happened. This is what happened. This is the National Football League. Yeah. Okay. So it could have, would have, should have been 28 to seven at half, and it was 17 to seven. And I'll be honest. Yeah, I, I felt pretty good at halftime. I thought my Cowboys were positioned to be only a game back of the Philadelphia <laughs> Eagles. And then the second half happened, and for the third straight game, the Kansas City Chiefs managed to score zero points in the second half. It's half just adjustments. mind blowing to me. Just mind blowing because I'm looking at the numbers just for the second half. Kansas City went two for nine on third down in the second half. It's just not good enough. The defense came out and three and out in Philly the first two times Philly had the ball in the second half. But after a while, if you just let them hang around and hang around and hang around, pretty soon <coughs> Jalen Hurts is going to make plays because he is a natural born play maker. He is as resilient as they come. I, I just love his football character, and I fear his football character as a Cowboy fan, and now he's an Eagle. I used to be his biggest fan. Now it's hard, mixed emotions. But the point is, if you let him hang in and hang in and hang around, he's finally going to make a 41-yard throw. <clears throat> By the way, his first receiver, his one number one receiver, caught one ball for eight yards. A.J. Brown, one catch for eight yards. That's pretty good. Usually you'd say, we got a pretty good chance of winning the game, right? And Jalen throws a 41-yard completion, goes to the one-yard line to Devontae Smith, and it was the flip side of the throw to Valdez Scantling because – it's a little underthrown in a good way because he was so open that it just falls right into his lap where he, he, he basically had to stop at the one yard line and sort of back up just a bit to catch the ball as he was sitting down at the one yard line. A much easier, easier catch than Valdez Scantling, who is obviously stretching. See, out I don't I don't give I don't give any yeah, excuses. That's, not, a, that's that, not an easy catch. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't give any easy excuses. But for Devontae Smith and a harder one for Valdez Scantling. Know, Both balls are in the much, air, traveling know, at us. No, but uh, this is much easier just to stop and catch it, it like it a gets, punt. But it's it gets caught like in the lights at night, no, I, I though, understand. Skip. It's I, a little I, I bit it. different. It but he, Go ahead, Richard. With the defender bearing down on him. Yeah. Mike Edwards is bearing down and if he on runs him. Up, it goes right over his shoulder. And if he runs up Devontae Smith's back, then maybe Devontae Smith doesn't catch it, but the ball landed before he actually could get there. In terms of... What they did to Travis Kelsey for Kansas City is basically what they did to A.J. Brown for, for Philadelphia. They negated him from having an explosive game, and so guess what the quarterback decided to do? He decided not only on that catch, but on another crucial play across the middle to go to Devontae Smith, to continue to yep. feature Devontae Smith in the passing attack. So that's about the quarterback understanding, hey, they taking my main guy away. We already was made a mistake Earlier in the game when they came with a blitz zero and there was no hot, I got to get rid of the ball, but you're looking for a deep ball. So an interception was thrown. I tell you what, we're going to go back to the sideline. We're going to readjust. Now when they start to play you a certain way, we're going to get a football to other people and give them an opportunity. You talk about the second half of the football game. One of the adjustments that was made at halftime was the spy on Patrick Mahomes. If you notice, in the first half, he was able to move around, make hay with his, with his legs, pick up first downs. In the second half, that wasn't the case because they decided to say, hey, Blankenship, on certain downs of distance, I need you to watch 15 at all times. Mm. It changes what he could do on the offensive side of the ball because he realizes now, okay, they're doubling, triple team in my tight end. They're spying me, and the other guys aren't getting open. <sighs> okay, but... And the other adjustments yeah. they made, Skip, they, they started to run the screen pass that the Miami Dolphins they ran... Did. Uh, this weekend against that zero blitz that Spax kept bringing. He kept bringing pressure, kept bringing pressure. They found that screen pass to DeAndre Swift, and they kept feeding him. Yep. I, I hear what you're saying. I mean, I, 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 you felt really comfortable, but <laughs> I don't know how you felt comfortable when the past two games the Kansas City Chiefs haven't scored after the half, and you know what this Philadelphia Eagles team is and the adjustments that they make. Because it was Monday night football. It was Patrick Mahomes. It was Travis Kelsey. You just figure out how to get that game home. You have a Kansas City defense that I told both of you yesterday. It's second in the league in points allowed. They got a good and defense. It, it, it played high last yeah. night. It, it played up yeah. to its potential last night. Yeah. I don't know. You couldn't ask a whole lot more from a defense in a game yeah. of that magnitude. So 
I, that's why I felt comfortable because Jalen Hurts had been sacked five times in the first yeah. half. Five times. He he couldn't set. He 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 couldn't find. He he's looking to run you're, in a split second. You're, you're not you're not wrong for being comfortable or picking the game the way you did. But I think for me and Richard, even though it's Kansas City, we both realize. They got two guys on the offensive side of the ball. Pacheco, you could add in the running game, yeah. and, and every now and then if he gets something okay. on the perimeter, he could do some stuff. All right, but, but here's the point. But you never factored in 25 drops on the season by the receiver. 26, I think. Is it 26 Thanks now? Thanks to the last one. Yeah, yeah okay. So <laughs> yeah. 26 and drops. It, it leads by far. It leads. Yeah, you, lead. you I, never I factored that into okay. going into the but game. Did, we did. No, I don't think you did. Absolutely, because all we right. talked about is two guys, Kelsey and Mahomes. That's yeah. it. Okay. Every time I see Rashi Rice catch a football, I say, that kid can play because I like the way he moves. I like the way he catches it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I like his body language. He looks like he belongs in the National Football League, and I do not understand why they didn't feature him more. As Patrick said after the game, they're tripling. That's what he, he used the word, triple. They're tripling Kelsey every play. Okay, where's Rashi Rice? Because I'm just not a big believer in Justin Watson. I know he's a fifth-round pick by the Bucs out of the Ivy League, out of Penn. He's 6'2", 215. He ran 4'4", So he's, he's got some ability. Patrick said, first time he came to minicamp, he said, I turned to Andy. I said, who's that white guy over there? He, he can really <laughs> run. Well, I, I guess he can. But, but again, you, you, he got 11 targets in your yeah. biggest game of the year. Are you kidding me? It's come to this? Well, and, and I tweeted this late last night. Somewhere, Cheetah is chuckling because Cheetah's chuckling over this because he knows that that maybe it took a year and almost a half or a year and a half for, for them to miss Tyreek. But, but I think they missed Tyreek last night in the, in the big picture. You know, if you're throwing 11 balls to Justin Watson. Well, you, you know, say you, what happened to Rasheed Rice. With a, young, with a young receiver, young receivers have a lot to learn. It's not as easy as this, 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 and this. If you ever notice... The passes that Rasheed Rice are catching are typically from the line of scrimmage yeah, to maybe no, 10 yards downfield because he's got to learn what to do. They trust Justin Watson to line up correctly, yeah. not stress out the quarterback. That's why guys play that are veteran guys that have bounced around the league opposed to rookies. Okay, so Patrick ended up making two really good throws to Justin Watson. One was the one, I don't think we have it, but it's, it's the one, it's, it's almost like a sideline fade on mm -hmm. the max blitz on a third down throw. That was Patrick's probably best touch throw of the night. But then to your point, Keyshawn, the late throw, fourth and 25, Mahomes throws an absolute rocket. He steps into it with all his might and throws it to Justin Watson. And I, I'm not saying this would have won the game, but it would have given you a chance. Oh, no question. Just given you a chance to throw it into the end zone. But it's it's a rocket. Come back to just, the ball, though. You, you just have to. You got to come back okay. to the ball. You right. can't just stop. Okay, I, I got it. But are you asking too much of the former fifth-round pick out of Penn? That, that's my point. No, I'm not. Why is he in this right. position? Because they're He's in this position the because guy. Patrick Mahomes. Because Patrick Mahomes trusts him. Clearly, he trusts him. Clearly, he's, he's going to him. He went to him in the end zone in the first half, Skip. You didn't have yeah. a problem with that. He went to him when he's catching the ball. You didn't have a problem with that. He went to him here because he trusted him. And he's went to other guys in this situation. I've seen almost identical situation uh, to Sky Moore on a late third down where he, Mahomes fit it in over the coverage, a dime, and it was dropped. So it doesn't seem to matter who he throws it to at the end. You just saw Valdez Scantley drop the touchdown. Yeah. So I don't know where you want him to go. You want him to go Rashi Rice? Well, yeah. clearly there's something wrong there. Maybe he doesn't know the playbook. Maybe he, he, he's not comprehending things. Maybe Patrick just doesn't trust him, even though he's the second most targeted receiver on the team. He just doesn't trust him. So right. I think you gotta you, you gotta just take the L, Skip. Well, obviously I have a choice and when at this you... point. But what, wait a second before we leave that, you say gotta go to Rice, gotta go to gotta go to go. You, you know who he's gotta go to in the second half. I, I don't care if he's quadruple covered. You have to throw it to Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey looked out of it to me last night. He looked like he was running in mud. I don't maybe. Well, I tried, to, I tried to explain. Well, you yeah. got his ankle twisted up, yeah. but I tried to explain that to you about a month ago 
that this isn't the same Travis Kelsey, and you looked at me like I have frogs on my well, face. Well, I, the, the, <laughs> I can go back to a couple of games in October where he's he's catching 150, 170 yards worth of football. Yeah, but but it, even when he's doubled in the past, he's able to get out of there because of the fact. explosiveness in the things that he was or, able to do. Or the that, connection with Mahomes. They just figured it out. But that's not the case right yeah. now. He doesn't have the same fast pitch that he had several years ago. It was clear to me, I don't care if he did catch for 150 yards, I'm watching this dude, and I'm looking at him like, well, he's catching the ball, he's big, but it's not the same stuff that we have known uh, Travis Kelsey to bring to the table. It's just not. That is, it's not I'm not saying he's, he's bad. I'm not saying he's not good anymore. He's just not the same, and that's okay. The other guys have got to step up. If Kansas City plans on doing anything in the AFC, Skip, they're going to have to step up. That's just it's, – it's – what it is. Yeah, because that's all. The, the irony is Patrick has easily the best defense he's had in his time in Kansas Absolutely. City. Absolutely. And, and now he's got the worst weapons he's had at any time he's been a chief, right? Yes. I, I, I could I would say I would second that, yes. Okay. And yet to me, to my eye last night, and again, this is the first time in my life I was rooting for the Kansas City Chiefs, so it was a weird sensation to me, but I was getting frustrated with the offense in the second half because it's so herky-jerky, in part because he doesn't have the weapons and targets. But the, Patrick tends to just want to move to throw, move to throw, and it, it loses rhythm. There's no rhythm to that offense at all. It's like it, it's, it's almost like Luka in the lane, you know, where you can't time his shots, where it's just all herky-jerky. That's what the, the Chiefs offense felt to me last night, where – it, there's no one, two, three, gone, one, two, three, bang, one, two, three, catch. It, it, there, there's well, no it, – it's sort of the opposite of how Brady ran an offense. There's no timing to it. If you're not getting open, yep, that's, there will be no timing. You know, and he's just – He's got to find guys to get open. Yep. And with the receivers that, that do get open for them, they got to catch the ball. They haven't caught it. They, they, they do. 26 drops, that's insane. Yep. Six drops by one player in a mm -hmm. single season that barely plays, that, that, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, I agree. I think you both would agree, though, that Kansas That the City, Eagles are better than the Cowboys. Yes, Kansas we both City agree. Kansas City should have won that game last night. Do no. we agree on that? No, they no, didn't. Should have won. No. Should have won. No. No, no. I, agree that they, I agree that the Eagles are right better than the Cowboys. Go. That's what I do agree on. Okay. Well, we'll talk about that in just no, a few minutes. That. Stay tuned. But wait, is, is this right? LeBron is having the hottest month of his career? Really? That's next. Watching Undisputed fans, do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.